morning, good morning. Good morning. What's the speed when you're half ahead in perfect oh, condition? Yeah, it'll be eight. Eight, eight okay. Or nine. Okay. Excellent. It's an hour, I think it's something inside eight months. Seven, okay. seven. Excellent, excellent, thank you. But steady it until three, three and a half. Okay. Good mention. Ah, uh, Frank, go. Yeah, Frank, go ahead. Yeah, do you uh, stay with that? You wanted to talk? Yeah, I'm just thinking in my head initially here. I want to have both of you guys just standing by on the starboard side running free in case I don't have the visual on the poor quarter. Okay, you want us to come out past the jetty? Yeah, it'd be good if the vigilant could get an idea, have a look at that center lead aft if it's possible. Um, but yeah, if you can come out, you know, to where you feel safe, that would be great. Just a matter of this ship wanting to shear once it hits that uh, showing. Okay, all right. Actually, vigilant, um, once you, you get out here and have a look at the center lead aft, make a decision if we think you can do it or not, and I'll have you move back up forward to the port bow. Roger that. Me too. Chief. Me too. Port 10. Okay. Dane, we got one motor yacht outbound, the indulgence. Uh, do you want to see these guys port to port? Yeah, yeah, if you can get a hold of them, that'd be great, Jake. I've got a lot going on. Roger. Roger that. I'll get a hold of them port to port. Just have them work. Just basically tell them to stay away. Uh, yeah, whatever works. What am I looking at? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it looks like we work center lead F and uh, both sides if uh, you want to do that. Yeah, can you take center lead now? Roger that. Come. Okay, let's do it. Let's take center lead. We'll put a line center lead F. This one's all fast center lead F, stretching out. Thank you, sir. Port 10. Break him, stand by, starboard quarter. Okay, thank you. Non-port 10. Midship. They came for my defense. You'll see. Ship. About 30 seconds. Let's see something. MSC Ismir. MSC Ismir, Port Everglades. What do you see on the keel? Clearance. Do you get any uh, depth on the keel? Just 1.6, 4.6. Yeah. 
the weight of the vessel and I just had to get in through the entrance, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you could feel the bow yeah. pushing and then you could feel it happening at the stern, setting the ship down to the south. So I didn't want to add speed, so now we're just taking it off easy. Now we got through the hard part, now I'm just going to dock it. So that's the reasoning for that. You can see the tugs, they uh, standing by, but there's not too much they can do when you're making six uh, knots. Okay, thank you, Frank. You know, when we're doing these maneuvers with these other ships, like uh -huh. the Tropic uh, Hope, I'm inbound at eight, nine knots, no problem. Okay. Here I'm doing about five or six, but just so much more maneuverable. And uh, just taking our time because no reason not to. Exactly. Do it safe, right? You got a little ebb here too. You can see just the beginning of the ebb between this number nine and um, the 11 over here. You can see, you see the green okay. water's coming out? Yeah. So that water's going to want to shear the bow okay. to the northeast. So I'm going to bring the bow in port 20 right now, and she's just barely creeping over to the port. But I got to put the bow up there okay. to get ahead of the current because I don't want to get set down over here on these on these docks. Makes sense. All right. Absolutely. And then in front of the slip, we'll see that on an ebb tide, it actually, a current, should say, it goes to the south. And then on a flood current, it'll go to the north. So you have a couple effect here. This is sharing the north once you enter in, and then up in front of the slip, it's sharing your south. So it's interesting, dynamic. So the plan to put the bow in and then yes. back? Okay. Exactly right. But I know it's going to hit the bow, shear the bow, and I want to be just in control of it. At the vision level, we'll just change our angle. Let's start back in the, uh, more towards the west, uh, northwest, if you don't mind. Let's get the stern swung around. Okay, back and half, swing around to the uh, northwest. Okay, you start to see the bow swinging. Right. I'll be careful because I can't let it happen too fast because over here, this is the, this is the turning basin. Yes. It's on like a 45. Kind of letting the environment and whatnot do the work for me rather than you know, nice. fighting in position. Yeah. It takes a little bit, it can take a little bit longer, but there's, there's no rush. I'll have another ship for another hour. So. Vigilant will give her a little more power. Sure. A little bit longer. Dead slow astern. Put her hard port. Slow astern. Ten meters. Ten meters. Okay. Fifteen yeah. meters. Then will be adjusting. Okay. That's all stop there, Vigilant. All stop. Vigilant, you want to pull this? Is it easy to pull the stern towards the uh, the ramp there? To actually slowing down. I don't want to give a kick of stern. Can you help out? Yeah, pull your stern a little bit. Yeah, we can do it. Thank you, Frankie. I'm slow ahead.
Captain, how are you, sir? Good, good, good. How are you? Bound for Port of Palm Beach, and you can start traffic. Travel Sun, standby 1416. Let's get that boat will be on here. Yeah, we'll just try your best to get those sailboats to stay on the south, you know. Don't, don't let anybody cross the channel if you can help it. Roger that, roger that. Start five. Start five. Good chip. Good chip. Roger, good chip now, sir. Thank you. 